Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is the first video that you're clicking on of me. My name is Taylor. I make digital illustration tutorials, draw with me videos, basically just a bunch of like art related content, digital art, not like regular art. I can't do regular art for the life of me, but digital art, I got you. So if you've already seen my videos before, feel free to skip this intro so you probably already know what I'm about to say. You can skip to this timestamp to get into the tutorial. But if you are new here, um, a few frequently asked questions that I get. First of all, I do have an Instagram. Most of you I know are from Instagram, but if you're not from Instagram, follow my Instagram. I post a ton of stuff on there every single day. I post behind the scenes stuff. I do polls for you guys. I give sneak peeks of content and I post all my content schedules because um, I'm trying to post Monday, Wednesday, Friday on here. So you guys will always know what's coming if you follow my Instagram. Some frequently asked questions that I get is what app I use and I do use for all my illustrations on my Instagram account. I now use the app Adobe Illustrator Draw. It is a free app on iPhone and I think it's also free on Android and works on Android. Android. I don't have an iPad. I don't have an Apple Pencil. I don't have Procreate. I don't have anything fancy. I do this all on my iPhone with my finger. I think that's all I need to address. Follow my Instagram. We will get right into the hair tutorial. Okay guys, here's the picture that I'm using. Obviously, there is a ton of different like hairstyles and hair colors that people can have, but I just tried to do this one that's kind of like in the middle. She kind of has like dirty blonde and it's like slight waves. So I figured it was like kind of in the middle, but you guys know the drill. I'm doing the shadows first. So the color, I honestly messed up the color so bad. Like I literally am using dark brown. I don't know what was going through my mind, but those are not the colors of her hair, but don't worry, don't worry. I fix it in the end. Okay, you saw in the thumbnail, I promise I fix it. Just so just ignore that. But doing my shadows first, so I'm doing those first like two darkest colors. And then I'm just basically moving up, doing a little bit lighter each time. I think I ended up doing five or six different shades in this hair. Obviously, it depends on the girl's hair. Like, if she has highlights or if her hair is, like, dark brown. Obviously, you don't have to do as many. But, of course, like, if her hair is like this where there's a bunch of different colors going on, the more you do, the more realistic it's going to be. And I'm using my tapered brush for this as well. Um, oh, now is when I am kind of filling, like, I'm kind of outlining her entire like head of hair so all those like gaps that are in between the little streaks that I did I there I go I just filled it in with kind of like a medium color which is like super important I like to do the highlights I'm changing the colors again and they look so bad but I like to do like the highlights and the low lights first and then like outline it and fill it in with that dark color and of course I'm using my tapered brush for this to make it look realistic um, you can use different sizes. I didn't in this. I just used the same size, but feel free to like make it um, larger or smaller with like the hair if you want to add even more dimension and depth into it. But right now I'm basically just messing around with these colors. Honestly, hair is pretty like self-explanatory, but it can definitely be tricky. So like I definitely needed help with it. Like I was really bad at it at first and I'm honestly still not that good at it, but I figured I hopefully could help you guys with this video. And it just takes a lot of tweaking, honestly. This whole video is basically just me, like, doing tapered strokes and then, like, tweaking the colors and tweaking where I'm putting different strokes and where the highlights are and stuff. So I tried to choose, like, a little bit more of a complicated photo for this so I could show you guys, like, different techniques. I am just met Like, that was literally green. Like, what am I thinking? I'm messing this up so bad with the colors. But that's what you got to do. Like, you never know that the colors look bad until, like, you finish. And then you're like... Um, what was I thinking? But I think this time I finally got it right with that color. So my top tips are basically just to use a tapered brush. Obviously, it would be very hard to do hair, especially hair like this where it's like wavy and like highlights and like low lights without a tapered brush. Um, and of course, do the dark parts and the light parts first, like the low lights and the highlights first, and then fill it in with like a medium color. Um, if you want to add even more depth and dimension, you can change the size of the tapered brush and of course add more colors. I think I did like five colors here, but you can go with 10, you know, if you want to and it would give it even more depth. If you guys want any tutorials of like different hairstyles or different hair colors, I would love to do that too because I know there's literally like endless possibilities with hair. So let me know if you guys want like an updo or like brown hair, black hair, whatever. Like red hair would even be cool. That would actually be really fun. I've never done that before. But yeah, so I'm just finishing up adding some final highlights onto the picture and then I'm going to add in like the little barrettes. 
And for the barrettes, I just took like this kind of tapered-ish brush. I don't know. It was like one of the brush settings on Adobe Draw. And I just drew like little like hair clips. I think they're called barrettes. Is that what they're called? Barrettes? I can't think of it. But, but here I am. I'm adding like some smaller like little hairs just to show you guys what it looks like. Um, if you want to add like different uh, sizes of brush strokes in there. Um, just to add some more dimension de depending on how minimalistic or how detailed you want to go. I was just showing you guys what it looked like. So now we're coming to the end of the tutorial. This one was a pretty quick one just because it's pretty like self-explanatory. I guess you just kind of use one technique for the whole like head of hair. So it's pretty easy to explain. So sorry this was like kind of short but I hope that it was helpful. Um, let me know if you liked it in the comments. Okay guys, that's it for the hair tutorial. I hope that you learned something. I hope you found this helpful. And if you do recreate or like try doing hair yourself, please send me a DM on Instagram. I love seeing your guys' creations that you did from my tutorials. It means so much to me. And um, of course, follow my Instagram. Leave a comment down below with any video requests or just any comments that you guys have. I always reply to all of my comments. Or you can send me a DM on Instagram. I reply to all of my DMs. I would love to hear your video requests, what you guys need help on. Because I love making videos about things that you guys actually like want to see. So if you want to see something, feel free to shoot me a DM on Instagram. And of course, follow my Instagram because I post a ton of stuff on there. Behind the scenes, polls, questions, sneak peeks, all sorts of fun stuff. So follow me over there. But anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and learned something. Subscribe for more videos or you can check out my playlist of other tutorials. I have so many other tutorials so you can learn how to do everything relating to digital illustrations. And yeah, hope you like this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. You got it, girl, you got it. No, baby, in a bag and I'm working. No, not a vibe, but you're working. Cause I know I love a mom for me and for Baby, girl, you got it, girl, you got it.